I had not spoken with Two Face in four months before I was accused, says Peru. My correct people, I'm back again with another latest update. Still on Annie Idibia, Two Face, and his baby mama Peru. Well, I don't already know the katakata way they this married, but before I dive into this video, I would love to welcome you all to my channel. Thank you so much for always tuning in. How are you all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you all according to your time. Thank you so much for always stopping by. I do not take it for granted, okay? A quick reminder for those that haven't yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Click on that red subscribe button below to get subscribed and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. With that, anytime I put up a new video, you will be notified. Yeah, welcome back to another video, guys. And this video is, like I said, is about Two-Face Idibia and his family. So this time around, Peru had an, an exclusive interview. Yeah, so I wanted to bring this update to you all. So in the interview... Pharaoh explained everything that has been going on between her and Annie to face, you know, the family, all the katakata where just they go around for that family. I waited to talk for this interview. So I'm going to read in according to the source. Okay. Here I have some questions which they asked her. So I'm going to be asking the question and also be answering it. Okay. So the first question she was asked is this. Did two face run off to America to stay with you? She, the replied is, I heard he came to America in August, but we didn't see. It's not every time he comes to America that we see. His brother lives there. So it's possible that he may have gone there to stay with him. My boyfriend was even with me the last time I heard Two-Face was supposed to be with me. And I was quiet. I was quite shocked and wondered if there, if there are two perils. When that story broke, broke, I got so many calls that woke me up that I had to make calls to find out what was wrong. And I called his manager and he told me, Peru, this is not about you. If it was not about me, why is my name mentioned? Okay, so the second question was, when last did you see Annie? She said, she replied, the last time I saw Annie was in 2019 and I had a convo with her and advised her to try and be and be a good wife and work on making her marriage work. She, she knows I am not the issue in the marriage and I wonder why she would mention my name. She knows Two-Face and she knows Two-Face and I are not in contact because she keeps a tab on my activities from what I hear. The truth is that I'm too busy with my life and kids to be running after Two-Face. This dragging on the internet and all these lies are uncalled for, really. And the next question is, what is your relationship status with Two-Face? And she replied, I had not even spoken to him for about four months before I was woken up with calls to go and see I'm trending online because Annie mentioned that he had run off to stay with me in America. We don't really talk and we are not friends. It's because of the same reason that I have stayed away from him. So the next question is, there is a viral video where two ladies refer to you as Two-Face Wife. And she replied, those two ladies in the video, one of them is Two-Face Cousin, and they know the truth. They wonder why I have been on my lane and I keep getting dragged into Annie's material, marital drama. They are only the ones who can explain why they said what they said in the video. I am at peace with everyone. I have three kids for their brother. So visiting, so visiting me when I'm in the country should not be an issue or make headlines. I cannot answer why they made the video and posted it. I was upset at first, but then I had to let it go. I'm a happy person and have no time to waste on anger of any kind. So the next question is, so why did Annie mention your name in the voice notes that leaked? And she replied, help me ask her why she dragged me into her marital drama when she knows well that I do not have contact with her husband, she knows. Why am I her easy target to gain sympathy online? Why try to make me responsible if your marriage is failing? I dare her to bring out any evidence of me and Two-Face together 
as a couple. There is if there is even no relationship at all. I have stayed out of their lives to avoid drama, even to the even to the detriment of three kids with two faces. So why always drag me into it? Don't you think I will be mentally sick if I am still after two faces at the point in at this point in my life? I have everything going so well for me. I'm in a relationship and I'm happy at my peace. My boyfriend is even with my boyfriend is even with me right now and is really surprised at all these stories that are not true. I heard that anybody around two face that calls my name becomes an automatic enemy to Annie. Is everyone supposed to hate me because she does? She fights his friends who are nice to me. I'm like for Christ's sake you are you are a wife. Face your family and leave me out of it. I am a private person and I don't do my thing on internet. So how am I supposed to come online and start dragging with her? That the things she has said are lies. I would I would rather spend that energy making money. Any closing words? She replied, I really was not going to pay attention to all these thoughts. But since you called to hear me out, I have no choice but respond. I read all the comments online and I'm quite shocked how easily people can be manipulated and how easily lies can be believed. I am I am not the reason Annie's marriage is troubled let her look for the cause and fix it and leave me out of it and stop mentioning my name anytime there is problem i wish them both all the best and i pray i will be left alone this is my truth and it remains so why are you in nigeria she replied i am in nigeria to attend my cousin's wedding today and i am attending with my boyfriend what about the wedding ring spotted on your finger wedding rings i had on fashion rings yeah guys so these um questions are the questions that um that was thrown to peru to answer yeah and like I, like I told you guys earlier that she had an interview with one of the bloggers and yeah this is the outcome so she said that she's not responsible for annie's marriage crisis that she's not the one that made their marriage not to be working that she has always advised annie to work on her marriage and you know like advised her but still Annie hates her Annie hates her so well so what do you guys think about this interview that she granted what do you all think whatever your opinions are feel free to leave them in the comment section below okay thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like this video share this video and yeah I will see you all in my next video always know that you are highly loved and appreciated by me okay I love you all bye